Hello everyone, I am Dr. Danish Salim. We receive several queries from people daily asking about which vaccine is better among Covaxin and Covishield which is currently given in India. As you all know, the vaccination drive started in India on 16 January 2021. Cross of people have been already received these the vaccines. So I shall try to discuss the similarities, differences and the new study reports related to both the vaccines. Kindly share this information to others too since it is a very very important topic. So the similarities of the vaccines are, the first similarity is both are vaccines and are administered into the body that makes the body produce the antibody against the COVID-19 infection. So they are not medicines. Then. It protects the body from the infection in the future. The second similarity is both the vaccines are injected into the intramuscular deltoid muscle in the right or left arm. If the first shot is taken in the right arm, the second can be taken in the left or right arm. It is, does not matter. Third important point is the dosage of both the vaccines are 0.5 ml. So there is no change in the dosage in the first and second shot and that applies to both the vaccine that is Covaxin and Covishield. The fourth similarity is both the vaccines are stored at a temperature of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. There are many advantages to it. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccine must be stored at minus 70 to minus 50 degrees Celsius. So such vaccines have more possibility of getting spoiled as far as Indian climate is concerned and it would affect the transportation of the vaccines from one place to another. Hence, the Covaxin and the Covishield are having advantage in India when you compared with other vaccines. Fifth important point is both the vaccines are administered to people above 18 years of age because the study has been conducted only on them as of now. Now we will discuss between the differences between the vaccines. The first difference is AstraZeneca and Oxford invented the vaccine named AZ1222. They shared their formula with the Serum Institute which is a company based in Pune for the mass production and the vaccine was renamed as Covishield in India. Covaxin on the other hand was invented together by Bharat Biotech with the help of uh, Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR. The second difference is Covishield is a viral vector vaccine. That is, it is made from a virus called adenovirus that causes cold in chimpanzees. So the virus is extracted from the chimpanzee and weakened and combined with the weakened spike protein of the coronavirus. It is then injected into the human body. So the body produces the antibody against the spike protein which in future would effectively fight against the COVID infection. So this is the principle based on which the viral vector vaccine function. Whereas Covaxin is made from a weakened coronavirus as a whole and it is injected into the human body which in turn produce antibodies against it. So this makes us think that the vaccine that uses the inactivated whole coronavirus would be more effective. So I shall discuss about it at a later stage. The third difference is, as per studies conducted by AstraZeneca, the Covishield shows 79 to 90% efficacy while Covaxin reports of 80 to 95% efficacy. Covishield have already published the phase 3 trial results in multiple journals like Lancet. But the Covaxin, the phase 3 trials are not yet published and the scientists have not yet studied it completely. So now the next question, which vaccine is better among the two? So first, I will tell you a few important points. Covaxin, as I told before, it is a weakened virus. So this is an age-old technology. The weakened virus as a whole is injected into the human body. The polio and the rabies vaccine also follows the same concept. Since the wall of the virus is taken into concentration, many people think that this vaccine would be more efficient. But we must understand that when we get infected with a virus, 
we do not necessarily need the wall virus antibody. If the antibody is strong enough to break a part of the virus successfully, that would be enough to control the infection. Hence, rather that the wall dead virus, if a part of it can be stronger against the infection, that is considered more effective. But getting vaccinated as soon as possible is more important than which vaccine is better because COVID is spreading very rapidly and our families need to be protected as early as possible. So if there is an option available, you can select the vaccine though. The second point is, in countries like Maldives, Beherin, Seychelles and Uruguay, killed vaccines were administered and around 50% of the population is already vaccinated there. In US and UK, the people were vaccinated with Pfizer and Moderna that uses another technology that mRNA vaccine, around 50% is already vaccinated. When both were compared, the places where killed vaccines were given reported more infections than the one that used other technologies. Hence, killed vaccines were found to be less effective. The third point is, many doctors have conducted a survey among less than 1000 people and found that 98% of the people produced anti-spike antibodies in case of Covishield vaccine. Anti-spike antibody means the antibodies produced against the spike of the virus. The level of antibodies also was considered very high that is almost around 118 AU. In case of Covaxin, 80% produced the anti-spike antibodies. But the level of antibodies produced were around 50 AU per ml. Hence, this report clearly suggests that Covishield have a little advantage in producing anti-spike antibodies as compared to Covaxin. When trials of Indian vaccines are conducted on Indian population, there might be several loopholes that might have been overlooked. So as for AstraZeneca, they have conducted the trials in different countries at the same time. So that's the difference between both. So you have to conduct the Covaxin also should be conducted in different countries and they should publish their results in international publications like Lancet so that the scientists or doctors could make a thorough study to come to a conclusion about its efficacy. So I think I made it clear that Covishield is little better when compared to Covaxin as far as anti-spike antibody production is concerned. But the most important point I want to stress is we must get vaccinated as early as possible irrespective of the vaccine efficacy. One fact being Covaxin uses an age-old technology which is an assurance that it will not lead to any complications in future. The antibody response is also comparatively good when you compare with no antibodies. So only the percentage of efficacy in Covishield is found to be better. So I hope I have made the facts very clear to you. This is a very tough topic though. Though we cannot come to a proper conclusion as to which it is better. I tried to put forth the study report so that you could analyze it yourself and take a right decision. So kindly share the above information to everyone and help them stay healthy. Dr. D. Better Life would be back again with an another good topic soon. Till then, take care.